Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the low poly anime series. So today we're going to be continuing with it and we're going to be making the face and the hair today. So let's get to it. Okay, cool. So here we are over on the PC. So I'm just going to select model keys so you can actually set them clean. And then I'm going to go to edit mode and then let's work on the face. Cool. So let me pull in my reference image like this. And let's go. so I think we need to round out the face a bit more like this there. And yeah, cool. So to make the face, we're just going to go, uh, wait, we need to have a clipping on our mirror modifier. And then I'm going to go use the nav tool to draw out the R's. So we get to make some very simple R's. We're just going to like do like this. Cool. And then we can do like the bottom part. Okay. And then we're going to like round out the R's like this. So just G-Y. And then the bottom R is always like lower. And then what we can do is we're going to select these and extrude it out and drag them forward. This is for like the R, the eyebrows, or I mean the eyelids, eyelashes, whatever the thing. And then here, and what we can also do is I want to set up a simple like what's it like anime kind of looking texture. So let me show you how to quickly set that up. So I'm going to go to material preview in the shading tab. Go to select our model, and I'm going to go down to this uh, what's it node setup over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to drag this out, and we're going to add a couple nodes. So do a, make sure you're an EV before, uh, firstly over here. Make sure an EV, and we're going to add a shader to RGB, so like this. And then we're going to go add a color ramp, and then we're going to add a emission. So we have principled shader color ramp emission. Okay, and then now we can change this to constant, and you can see. Uh, so, and then you can press W shade smooth, um, or we can just go like linear and then shade flat. And you can see, so we can kind of choose like the different colors that we want like this. Okay. And then once we have it like this, we can kind of set up specific colors. So you can either have it shaded smooth and then you would probably want the, the, um, the constant. If you're shading smooth and then you want the, uh, I guess you can even use constant over here and we can just choose the colors that we want. So you can see, so we're going to do like this and then for like the shadow, so we'll get choose this like dark pink skin color. And this one is going to be like a skin color. And we're going to add another one that we're going to drag all the way up. And this is going to be for the hearts. So we can just make this this bright white color. You can see it just shows up like every so often and yeah. And then what we can do every time we want to add a, another material is we just going to duplicate it. So I'm going to go plus over here, add in the same one and then click on two. Okay. And then this one is going to be for the, uh, the eyebrows. So let's go to layouts again and then select these three faces, go to materials and then we select this one. Okay. Go shading and you can see we can change this to be like black and you can make it like a dark brown. And the same thing because we're going to add like a highlight. Cool. And then for the eyes itself, so let me just undo this. Select the face and we're going to make a new one. Select the same material and then go to object mode. Click on this little two again and then assign. And then we can make this, uh, even we can just go make this whole thing white. Uh, so we're going to remove this. And then this is going to be, maybe just make it like a light gray, just in case it is in shadow. And then we can go add in the R's. So go back to layout and we can start adding the R's properly. Then I'm going to go with the nav tool again and then we can just draw in the R's. Okay. And we go to R inset and then just go W loop tools circle. So you want to make sure that you have the loop tools add on enabled. Just go to edit preferences add ons to enable them. Uh, I think we have this one shouldn't be here. It's just, just X dissolve edges. X dissolve vertice and then just J to join. Cool. And you can just like start joining them together. Doesn't really matter that much because we're going to have a shaded smooth thing. Cool. So like this. So maybe join these two and then join these two like that. So I'm using J to join and then go to shading. Uh, so this one needs to be a proper circle. Circle. Okay, cool. That looks fun. And then we're going to make two more materials. Okay. We're going to have quite a few. Uh, so plus, plus, 
and then select the same one and then click on it again again so this one over here is going to be for the art itself so san and then select this one and this is going to be for the like pupil so go to shading and we're going to select this one over here and then we're going to give it a blue and then like a dark blue give and drag up the roughness oh no, no one. cool and then what can even help it is adding a gradient um so we don't actually need to have this whole setup so we can just go add a gradient plug this in like that and then we're going to go add so just press Control t make sure you have node wrangler enabled and then we're going to rotate while at 90 and then on the x-axis just drag it up and we can also drag this up as well the, the scale so you can just drag select all three and then shift to scale it and then x and you just want to drag into so i can some of the dark color back in like this and now we're going to add in uh what's it oh, let me actually sort no, that's fine we're going to um add in a color ramp so it's for the R's. So you always want to have like a darker part at the top of the R's. So it's like this. So we're going to choose like a dark blue. And the bottom we can choose a light blue. Okay, that looks cool. And then select the bottom one. And then this is just going to be a black color. So we can turn this mission strength all the way down. And then sometimes it helps just to make it slightly smaller. And then maybe move this up a bit. Just like closing the R lid kind of yeah okay that looks okay and then we can even add uh changes to a principled if we wanted to have like a rough uh roughness to it uh, let's make it black so uh, it'll look better when you have some more normal lighting okay and cool so yeah so that's kind of the r's done and then if we want to do the nodes, we can just go add it in. So let's go to front view. It's going to add a bunch of triangles. You guys are going to get super mad, but I don't care. So we can just going to add a nose like this and then just drag it out like that. So it just pops up or whatever. Yeah, cool. That looks pretty cool. And then we can also add in the mouth with the knife tool like this. It's okay. Just add it in there. Maybe that needs to be higher, I think. And then like that, I think we need to cut it down like that. And then do the same thing over here. We just select the whole face and then control R H like that and go to bottom view. So I'm just kind of going to get like a basic thing to sh for the mouth. Uh, Maybe that's not protruding too much. Cool. And then what I'm going to do is for the mouth, let's make it a bit smaller. Okay. And then we can just go add another edge like this. Select the face, X faces. And then we can just extrude it in. So S, is, we can just drag us up like this. Uh, so select these vertices, extrude out, scale zero, and the G, X there. Select everything M by distance. And you can see it just has this basic mouth. Maybe it needs to be even smaller if we look at our reference. So maybe let's go add an edge loop like this. So we can kind of not have this. You kind of have like a hollow cheek look. So I think we need to drag this one forward. Yeah. Okay. And if you are using the stuck smoothing, you're going to want to add uh, some. Maybe even add some auto smooth. So go to uh, normals and then auto smooth, and that can help uh, to get some problems like over here. Yeah, so it can kind of just help you like dial in the uh, parts. Yeah, cool. See you in part three.